What's the mall pretzel to rule them all, pretzel? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Let's have a mall pretzel showdown, shall we? We shall. Okay, in 2017, fellow YouTuber Danny Gonzalez tweeted, Auntie Anne's is better than Wetzel's pretzels hands down. Don't respond to this tweet unless you aggressively agree. And then of course, Tiffany Mrs. Grayscale defied Danny's rule and replied, I haven't been to Weasels, <laughs> but it's still a fact that Auntie Anne is queen and Annie herself responded with the crown emoji. Uh-huh, okay. and Wetzel chimed in too, the so barely when Megna Rigi replied to Danny with, WTF is Wetzel's pretzels. Auntie Anne's is really good though. I just don't like their lemonade. It tastes like metal. Mm -hmm. And then the only thing Wetzel had to say was, Wetzel's lemonade tastes like lemonade. Dot, dot, dot. Burn! Then earlier this year, Wetzel's name checked their rival by tweeting, when they say they prefer Auntie Anne's and then threw in some emojis, which basically means don't speak to me and then had a photo of their cheesy dog bites. Mm -hmm. But listen, they didn't go all the way because they were too scared to actually at the auntie. Oh, you see, see the, the two brands they're afraid to really go after each well, other people, directly. Listen, Everyone's doing it for them. People who make pretzels are usually very nice. That's what I've run into in my life. Well, the which pretzel <laughs> is worthy of the crown actually will decide, and which one has got it twisted. It's time for Food Feuds, Auntie Anne's versus Wetzel's Pretzels. We're gonna taste and compare signature items from your two favorite pretzel stands head to head. You're rating each one on a scale of one to 10, except for a few items, which we'll mention when we get there. The restaurant with the most points is gonna be named the Mall's Tippity Top Twist, and is gonna win a chance to be sponsored. No, they're gonna sponsor us. You can sponsor us if you win. No, maybe we'll sponsor you. <laughs> that too. Are Dirk and Patty late again? Well, today's their big day, so they're probably... Oh. Sorry, 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 oh, sorry. You, I'm <laughs> surprised you're here. Hi, uh, yeah, so today's a big day. I, I, and, for real. Oh, by the way, I'm anti Dirk. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, well, okay, I'm, I'm pro Dirk, but I'm anti Dirk. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Anyways, today's a big day. Yeah, you look, you look nervous. I'm stressed out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, so that's your uh, Auntie Anne cinnamon sugar pretzel. It's okay. got you know because it's in the title. Cinnamon and sugar. That's right. Four ninety nine, five ninety nine. Okay. It's gonna be fine, Dirk. Okay. It's gonna be okay. Well, not I, getting rid of clowns just because your kid is scared of them at the wedding. Uh, what? Maybe this they, is bad. Fine, don't come okay. to the wedding. It's bad timing. They're yeah, doing, they're I love you too. I'll see you at Christmas. Doing this. I mean, on they the could same have day. taken the day off. I, I now mean, my sister is not coming to the weddings. We don't have a ring bearer for today. Okay. You want to be the Hi, I'm uh, Wetzel's Pretzels, Patty. This is supposed to be on your side. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Thank you, Patty. This is our sinful cinnamon pretzel for 519. <laughs> Gotta get the price in there. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let's start over here. Listen, so Auntie Anne's, they got 1,200 locations all around the uh, world. The world started back in 1988 uh, versus 340 locations for Wetzel's Pretzels. Wetzel's Pretzels. So, started in 1994. So they got the, they got the, they got a leg up. Oh, it's, on nice. it's got a nice, it's got a nice head. <laughs> I didn't know Pretzels had a head. <laughs> I'm just gonna. That's good. I mean, it's everything stuff. you want it to be. It's sweet, it's cinnamony, it's got a little buttery taste. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking that. That's good. This is all fresh to me, because I'm just not a pretzel guy. I'm not really a pretzel guy but either. But I like pretzels. But maybe I not... should be. Okay. Well, can, you, can you hold that one up? Let's, let's just kind of compare them. There's not huge differences in these. I think that the differences may actually just be isolated. I mean, this one is smaller, but maybe they just made them a little bit different. I don't know if it's like, is that consistently that much bigger? Wetzel's has a lot more of the of the good stuff on it. Wetzel's is coming really hard. Mm -hmm. Same flavor profile, but a little bit greasier in a good way. Yeah, it's just more cinnamon, more sugar, caked on. In this particular sample, I would say almost twice as much. Does that mean twice the score? Well, I think they're both really good. I mm -hmm. prefer Wetzel's. I can't imagine a cinnamon sugar pretzel being much better than this. Mm -mm. I'm actually gonna give whatever one is in front of me, Auntie's, a, an eight. 
I'm gonna give it a seven. And I'm gonna give this a nine. Nine. Yep, I agree with that. Up next we have, ooh, the hot dog thingies. I swear to God, Smack, if you invited your work wife, Polly, you were in big trouble. She's not coming, all right? And I can think of no scenario in which she would make a surprise debut appearance at our wedding, available for first, second, and third tiers on Mythical Society. I feel that. Well, okay, so it turned into a little bit of a promo. I do feel it. Okay, so we've got the, uh, they didn't even say what these were. Yeah, really. that's my job. That's me. <laughs> hello. I, hi, I'm Stevie. On your side, Rut, is Auntie Anne's mini pretzel dogs for six sixty nine, And then on Link's side is Wetzel's pretzels Wetzel dog for six nineteen. Now, mm. Auntie Anne's does serve a regular size pretzel dog, but at this particular location, they only have the mini ones. So Link, we're just gonna have to pretend that these wieners are bigger than they are, which should be easy for you. If I didn't have a mouthful of this, I'd give you a mouthful of this. Mmm. <laughs> Tasty. It's like a pig in a blanket, but the blanket is a pretzel. I want the fl- I want it to be flakier. I mean, I like it. That's because you want it to be a pig in a blanket. That's just not what it is. It's a pig in a pretzel. But what about that? That's big. Are we gonna end on in this thing? <laughs> We're gonna meet in the middle? Well, there's a... We're gonna Lady in the Tramp. There's a lot. Li- there's a there's a lighter end and there's a darker end. <laughs> if you want to teach kids about dogs' erections, uh, grab a Wetzel pretzel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't care what end you give me, just as long as you give me one. Well, that took a few bites. It must be super chewy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is a mouthful. I'm satisfied by both of those. What I really want is I want to dip them in the cheese sauce. You can get cheese sauce. I've gotten this and dipped it in cheese before. And you can't, we're not comparing the size of these. No, because you don't need to do that. We're just comparing the taste because um, it's not apples to apples and we're just gonna remove that. Just like you removed that ding dong from the wrapper. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, it's, it's difficult to differentiate once you remove the size from the conversation. I feel like these are almost equal. Yeah. I can't yeah, find a, I, a clear winner. I'm not, I'm not finding anything to differentiate these, so uh, we might as well just give them both zeros. No, this is, um, this is very good. That's very good. So overall, I'm giving a score to both of these of seven. I was thinking the same thing, friend. Seven. So we, seven. Seven's all around. Seven. That's 28. Seven. That's not how it works. So today is the big day for Dirk and Patty. They're getting married and we are gonna post the ceremony on the Mythical Society exclusively. So uh, you should, you can go over there today and watch it, mythicalsociety.com. We're, we're gonna be uh, watching the festivities. Uneven. Well then do it yourself! I don't even have my dress on! And it's gonna be great. Uh, it's... No tension. Is this what marriage is like? Yeah. Uh, at times, yeah. at it's, times. Just, it's your fault. There, there's our, there's highs and lows. That. Highs and lows. Just remember that. All right, guys, on Rhett's side is Auntie Anne's pepperoni pretzel for $5.99, and on Link's side is Wetzel's pretzels pepperoni twist for $5.69. Well, I'll tell you, so we've got a configuration difference here. The back, this looks more traditional pretzel to me mm-hmm. than the Wetzel's, but the Wetzel's looks fatter and more attractive for eating. Well, they're, call, to me. they're calling it a twist. Yeah, and then if you look at the back, I mean, there's definitely a there's a, a difference, a darkness to it. So let's see if we can again. I don't want to overinterpret the differences in the pretzels in terms of like, oh, well, the back is darker because every pretzel's different. You got different people cooking them. Uh huh. I like pepperoni. Never had it on a pretzel. It's kind of magical how they stick for the most part. <laughs> I like that a knot shaped breadstick with pepperonis on it. I gotta get a piece that's got pepperoni on it. I will say, there's less pepperoni over here on Wetzel Land. One, two, three, four, five. Did you get six or seven? Oh, is it counting? I think there was only six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, the same. There's just more to a Wetzel pretzel, actually. This is tough, but I think I like the consistency of a Wetzel pretzel more than an Annie's. Mm Mm-hmm. It's softer and more buddy, buddy, buddy. It's a buddy, and there's more twist in the middle. So Does it, it has, has more buttery. It has more of a. You get more of a pizza experience in that middle piece than you do 
with slightly less twists. There's only two twists to an Annie. I'm counting one, two, three, four twists mm. to a Wetzel. I like a Wetzel pretzel better, I think. Um, and there's a lot more cheese. The cheese is falling off of this thing and getting like crusty and, ooh, that's nice. This has got a cheese sprinkle. Again, if you just gave me this and you didn't give me anything else, I'd be like, you've done me a service. I'm gonna give that service a five. I'm gonna give it a six because I like it. I'm gonna give this one, <sighs> am I gonna go all the way to nine? I'm not, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it a nine. No, <laughs> well you did it, you did it. It, it. it really impressed me. I'm going in again. Now we will be attending the wedding, but we don't uh, have to, really? we're not Sweetie. officiating or anything. Here, let me help you put this no. on. What? No, if you see me in my dress, then that's bad luck. Don't look, close your eyes. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Right. Close your eyes, don't look at me, sorry, don't look sorry, at me. Sorry, sorry. Don't look She's at me. She's already in her dress. That's gonna be her wedding dress? Okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, it makes sense that it's not white. Marco. You know what is white? The Wetzel's Cup. So on Rhett's side is Auntie Anne's Original Lemonade for $4.49, and on Link's side is Wetzel's Pretzel's Fresh Lemonade for $5.19. Okay. And which one did we, which one tweeted that our lemonade tastes like lemonade? I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know. I don't yeah. want that to influence me. Wetzel. <laughs> A solid lemonade. Well, it's liquid lemonade. If it were swap solid, that would be like a, I don't know. A, a lemon pop. A lemon bar. Okay, I don't find myself wanting it anything else. <laughs> yeah, know? I'm like, I, I found lemonade, I'm, I'm gonna stop my search for lemonade. Right. But look at this, I found some more lemonade. At least I Whoa! think that's what it is. Okay, vastly different, way less sweet. It tastes like metal. Even the lemony. Part. It doesn't taste like metal. It just tastes like really, really it's super strong. It's wild. It's weird. It's not wonderful. It's not coming together for me. Especially when you go back to this. Shoot myself. Oh, I just man. I just lemoned my crotch. Well, what I, you know I what? Got, I'm gonna have to things. change before the wedding. There, <laughs> there are worse things to do. Uh, okay. Man, that this is so. Weird. Keep in mind, we're doing this on a scale of one to five because we don't think that lemonade should be the deciding factor for this. But I'm gonna tell you okay, right yeah. now. That's good. Auntie Anne's is about to make up some ground in my book because I think this is- A five. This is a five. I, I can't think of lemonade being better. And I think that, I don't wanna go all the way to one. I do kinda wanna go all the way to one, but I'm gonna go to two for Wetzel's. <laughs> do, what, what did you do for this? A five. A five yeah. as well, okay. And then relative to that, I mean, a one would almost be undrinkable. I could still drink all of this, yeah. but I, I couldn't tell you what I was drinking. It's just drinkable. So I'm gonna give it a two as well. Hmm. Now we come down to the most ubiquitous pretzel question. Oh, he's being let in. I can't see her in the dress. Oh, oh okay, yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> We're talking about the... Okay. <laughs> Okay. Where do I go? Uh, hmm. um. um, okay. On Rhett's side is Auntie Anne's original pretzel for four ninety nine, and on Link's side is Wetzel Pretzel's original pretzel with butter and salt for four sixty nine. We're down to just the butter and the salt. Okay, I mean, and this is what most people I would think would order off of these menus, right? This is the classic salted pretzel. Again, this one's a little bit more cooked, but does that mean much? It looks like it's cooked to the right place as a pretzel. Hmm, that's a very, very well balanced. It's doughy, it's salty, it's buttery. All the stuff that we've eaten before, this was- Maybe a distraction? I guess, I guess it makes sense that they would sell other stuff, but now we're back, we're back to the- The classic. The chewy, salty core of why we got into this game, Rhett. Mm hmm this is why we do what we do, man. Mm hmm okay. Very good, very good. All right. And I'm going. I'm going from the same place, uh, in this way. Same granulation of salt. Same distribution of butter. But is it as buttery tasting? Nice and chewy, Wetzel. You know the pre how pretzels have that slight. Um, there's a slight acidity, almost in like a rye type thing. I'm getting more of that from Annie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that this, Annie is just naked. Once Annie got naked, I was able to appreciate everything about her. I really like the Wetzel, but I like it because it's salted buttered bread. But you're right, 
It doesn't have a pretzel. It doesn't thing. have that that pretzel thing that you know, if you eat a bag of like super crunchy little snack pretzels and you get nothing but that pretzel taste, I'm only getting that from here. The more I go back and forth, the better this one gets. The saltier and the more pretzely it gets. This one doesn't get worse, it just stays the same. That's a nine. That's a, that's a really, really solid salted pretzel. I'll give it a 10. I mean, I'm not gonna hold oh, back. You're giving it I've, a 10? I've never eaten a better pretzel. Well. Let me show you around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't know. This is it, man. Okay, now I wanna be clear. This is not a bad pretzel. No. Um, I'm having a good time in my mouth. I'm gonna give it, I mean, I'm gonna give it an eight. I'm gonna give it's it. It's still great. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm not gonna go all the way to eight. I'm gonna give it a seven. I, I, I stand by where we are. All right, so, and, the results are already Whoa, in, ladies and gentlemen. This is super close. Wetzel's Pretzels at 68, barely inched out with a magical 69. Auntie Anne's okay. coming out with the win. All right, Danny Gonzalez, you were right. They are not hands by down. By the skin but, of your teeth, by, Danny. By, by the one piece of salt on a pretzel, you were right. Annie Anne's is the superior pretzel. I, I don't, I don't, Danny, I don't know if your, if your assertiveness in that tweet is is warranted? Is warranted? You looking for that word? Warranted. That's yeah. The word. That was the word he but was we, looking for. But we do barely agree with you. Yeah, yeah. We don't aggressively agree with you, but we barely agree with you. Auntie Anne's the tippity top twist. Uh, you guys okay back there? Yeah, we're just really stressed out. Can we go? We're late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Get 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 to it. Did uh, I land? Yeah. Did you? I don't know. Wait. Yeah, you did. I actually. dropped something. Jesus. Yeah, you won. Congratulations. Thanks, I'm very excited, thanks. No, no, you didn't, you lost. You, well, we gotta figure out what we're wearing does to it, the wedding. Does it really matter? Go to mythicalsociety.com to watch the wedding once it's posted today, okay? Mm-hmm, and thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Amber. And I'm Marissa. We're in North Carolina. And having Bojangles for the first time ever. Not a sponsor. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Two sausage biscuits for $4? You see that sign in the window? <laughs> Let's go back. Uh, click the top link to watch us build our ideal food court in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. You are cordially invited to watch the wedding of Patty and Dirk exclusively on themythicalsociety.com.